Hi guys, and welcome to iGame Over channel. <laughs> it's me again with another vlog. Um, so um, the reason why I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to share actually some good news uh, alongside other news too, but some personal good news. I'm actually getting married. Um, would you look at this? I finally, after all those years, um, my fiance and I, we decided that, you know what? It's time to tie that knot. And um, well, we're getting married. 25th of uh, August, we're getting, you know, into the church and said our yes and to say our yeses and such. And um, it's going to be awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Although it's a lots and lots of work, especially since we're trying to do it a little bit uh, do-it-yourself style. You know, save some money, but also have it awesome and exactly the way we want it, right? So um, you know. If any of you happen to be in Malmö and um, you know want to join us in the church, why not? Join us. I will actually um, you know put a link to the to our page uh, you know down below in the description. Okay. Also, what else happened? Apple conference, right? I know, I know. You, you'll go like PC Master Race and blah 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 and all of this, but you know what? Apple is a big player and they deserve to be talked about you know they um they really really have some good hardware and some really bad hardware but but let's just take a look at what they actually released right and see what it is actually worth it well let's start with an iphone se i'm not entirely sure i have a mixed reaction because you know in a world where everyone you get get used to having a phones with uh big screens you know five five and a half inch or even more like those fab phablets and such, right? I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. It's just feels like they really went back and not in a good way either, because, you know, back in the day, um, not too long ago, Apple was sticking to their, you know, four, four and a half inch phones and, you know, they just refused to make bigger phones and people were asking them and asking and asking them to deliver. And then they did deliver and people were complaining that, um, you know, oh my God, Steve Jobs will, would be turning in his grave if he would see and saw this, right? But now that they actually released another phone that is sort of a bit cheaper and smaller, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of lost the purpose of this because um, I don't know if I would like to be able to, you know, if I would like to go back to the smaller phone, right? I mean, you know, I would definitely not buy one. Maybe there are people that would like a new phone, you know, that is small and everything like that. I'm not one of them and I don't know many people that do. Um, you know, no people that um, would like actually have, you know, a smaller smartphone, you know, maybe for elderly people. I don't know. And it's not like it's innovative in any way. I mean, sure, it's impressive that they crammed all of the newest technology that they have into a smaller, you know, enclosure, but but you know what? If someone is looking for a smaller phone for its simplicity, that they really need the 4K recording and everything like that, and all those you know bells and whistles, I'm not entirely sure. Perhaps um, better would be to just you know pack a bigger battery into it so that people that actually want it smaller and last longer, you know, will have it this way. But there, you know, an iPhone SE and. Um, I'm definitely not going to be buying one. Will you? Well, let me let me know in the comments down below, okay? And then they also said iPad Pro 9.7 inch, okay? It's it's awesome, actually. I like it. They uh, they they took this super you know impressive hardware, and they uh, you know they put it into smaller enclosure again, right? It's just that iPad Pro, the original iPad Pro, was really huge and heavy. And unless you had it like laying on your desk, right? Or right in the front of you where you could just, uh, you know, draw on it and, and everything like that, like this, then, then, then it would be fine, right? But um, otherwise, you know, to hold it like this in the front of you, it, it's a ginormous pain in the ass, right? Especially when you try to lay and you just hold it like this and you, you know, when it drops in the, on your face, it really hurts. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited that they released the 9.7. 
I did not buy the big one, right? I didn't want to buy the big one. I mean, I want its technology, the stylus and everything like that, but I didn't want that huge of a package. Now that they released the 9.7, this is actually a really nice option. But, oh my God, what the hell were they saying that this is somehow a desktop replacement? Do you know what, five-year-old PCs that they were referring to? I guarantee you, every single five-year-old PC will be more, you know, will, will have so much more power and versatility than this. For cra that, that's embarrassing, Apple. It really is. It's, you know, I could go and, you know, buy some five-year-old, you know, PC parts and build way, way more powerful computer for much less money than that iPad Pro. Uh, I, I, I sometimes wonder who writes those, um, you know, those lines for, for, for Tim Cook and, you know, in the band. They really don't seem to have very much connection to the real world. So, um, I don't know. There is my Apple rant. Uh, of course, they were talking about their, um, you know, Apple versus FBI. And like I explained in the previous video, I was sort of sighing, siding with Apple on that. And funny enough, irony and all, uh, a day after the conference or so, FBI dropped, you know, all the inquiries and said like, you know what, I, we think we found a way to, you know, hack into this system, hack into that iPhone, so we don't need your help anymore. And, you know, and, and, and that, was, that was it, supposedly, right? But then sure, shortly after, some news um, arrived that uh, apparently, they were already waiting with several other iPhones to be unlocked. And, you know, I don't understand. If, if I have any people that view this from United States, because I don't understand that, please explain that to me. Why is no one holding your government accountable? I mean, seriously, are you guys blind? Don't you see what's happening? It's like, do you don't, you have a fish, you know, goldfish memory? for five seconds, it's, uh, you know, if, if your government tells you, you know, tell, tells you publicly, hey, no, it's just this one phone, and then, you know, a couple of days later, it turns out that they already had lined up several other phones or many other phones, for, you know, to, to use, you know, with this hack that Apple was supposed to provide. I mean, come on, how do you trust your government? And I don't mean that your government is, uh, you know, isolated in that case, because I'm looking very closely at the UK government as well. And in a way, in some ways, they're even worse than the US government. So, um, but, um, you know, guys, you need to start holding them accountable because they are lying straight to your face and, and you buy it because you just don't seem to remember, you know, what they said a couple of days ago and you don't investigate, you know, causality. So, um, yeah, so there is that. Also, do you like Final Fantasy games? I do. So the new Final Fantasy IX, right, is about to come out and surprise, surprise, Square Enix announced that in order for you to install, okay, the Final Fantasy IX on your PC through Steam, you will have to, mandatory, okay, install an Android SDK. And if you don't know what it is, it is a software development kit. This is to develop apps and games for an Android, you know, mobile devices, not for a PC. Why did they do it? Because they're freaking lazy, okay? They want, they realize that there is, uh, you know, a fair bit of money in the mobile gaming market. And, you know, they didn't want to you know, make make the game specifically for PC and specifically for uh, for Android. They just sort of bundled it up together, and and you're you're going to be installing a lot and lot of completely useless data that you're never going to use. And and, and that's it, you know. Unless you obviously, you know, buy it on an Android, but then you would already have it. You really don't need it on the PC. I. 
I really don't know. I, it's just companies nowadays, right? My Facebook page, right? Get over 9,000 fans now. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Oh, so how crazy is that? Thank you guys, by the way, a big shout out to my fans on Facebook. You know, it's over 9,000! Yep, yeah, it's that. And guys, if you haven't checked it up yet, you know, click it somewhere here, here, yeah, there will be perfect. And um, it will direct you to that, um, to that Facebook fan, fan page. So go ahead there. I post it on a daily basis, right? Some news, you know, tech and gaming related. So, um, so you can be up to date with, you know, all the latest and greatest in tech. Um, so yeah, so that will be for, it for today for our little um, vlog slash rant. I don't know. It's um, it's a very interesting time, for sure. We have governments that do whatever they want. We have big companies doing whatever they want. Everyone calls it something else, you know, so it looks nice and sound nice and, you know, not to tell you exactly as is what it is. And um, yeah, I, um, I don't agree with this world, to be honest. But anyway, this is just my opinion, so, um, you know, you don't have to share it, but, uh, you know, whether you do or you don't, don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts down below. I will always read them and I try to respond to all of them, so, um, yeah, so I will see you there. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe. By the way, as I mentioned last time, there is a big, big giveaway going and I will, uh, you know, put that video at the end so that you can click and see it and you can see how, how to enter, you know, the NVIDIA Shield tablet K1. Uh, that's what I'm giving away. So if you're interested, check in that video that is going to come up in a second. In the meantime, also subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. How I try, written down the words to say It is time, I've been waiting five days To explain how you make me feel inside Baby, got it all figured out Wanna do this right, Let